What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. I got another channel in. I guess it's meant to be because, you know, I did the really long one this morning with all this channel, thinking it was going to be my last video today, but it's really not because I've been posting all these videos. Um, but it actually worked out for, I guess, a reason because, um, I was going to take my kids somewhere um, we'd never been today, but my daughter said she wanted to take a nap, and my son's out there playing, so it actually all worked out for a reason, so I'm here. Okay, um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. You really, really are. I appreciate every like, subscribe, unlike, share, um, everything, if, uh, every donation. If you'd like to donate, it's High Princess Row 5, the link's in the description box below. Okay, so the channel I received was um, um, someone that, um, a family member, I heard a family member, a family member that once um, attempted to have you, you and your children for some kidnapped and human trafficked, the energy is about to boomerang back on them in a huge negative way. Jail coming for this person and other people. That is so strong if I've ever freaking heard it. It is so strong. So strong. So um, you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you, um, that is so strong. So I wonder if that's Secret 7 connected. I didn't hear Secret 7 in here, but I wonder if it is. And I'm just being serious. Let me turn on the little lamps. Just saying. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so yeah, so um, someone that, um, it was a family member I heard. For some, more than one family member. Okay, so for some of you guys, more than one family member. We might just channel if I keep getting channeled. If not, I might pull some cards. We'll see. But um, so for some of you guys, it was one family member. For some, two or more family members. But their goal and plan was basically to have you you for some and your children for some is what i'm feeling with the messages um kidnapped and human traffic that was their goal and game plan so that's what makes me think secret seven because with the hidden camera energy they were able to keep eyes on you at all times uh, whenever they felt like it um so that's what makes me think secret seven possibly i didn't hear secret seven in here but why else would somebody implant a uh, hidden camera in somebody's house unless they were trying to keep eyes on them at all time? You see what I'm saying? Um, it doesn't make sense unless it was something like that. Um, so, um, and I know with the Secret 7, well, there's many Secret 7 situations, but with the one in Alabama, they tried to make it out like it was a reality TV show, but it really wasn't. It really wasn't at all at all. It was actually very opposite, but that was their guise on it. Um, but it ended up blowing up in their face. But you have to plug it in where it fits. It just makes me wonder if it is Secret 7 is what I'm saying. Because why else? They had a strategic plan. For some, it was one of your family members. For some, two or more family members. For some, it could have been people outside your family unit. But I did hear family in here. Um, so, you know, some toxic family members. But however that resonates, though, um, the plan's backfired. It has backfired on them. And now... The energy is completely shifting on them. It's completely shifting on them. Um, and I heard arrest coming. Um, jail, I mean, I'm sorry, jail coming. I heard jail coming. Um, so that could be for one person. That could be for 50 people. But jail is coming for at least one person connected to the plan of basically trying to um, kidnap. I heard the plan was to basically have somebody kidnap you. And for some, you and your children to human traffic you. So to send you off like a human slave, basically, um, which is terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible is what that is. Terrible. Um, and honestly, the energy should boomerang back on them. It absolutely should boomerang back on them because um, you should never um, put that kind of negativity out into the universe ever, 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 ever. And I'm being so serious about that. Let me see if I hear anything else.
it's going to turn into a huge operation soon. Many people getting huge wake up calls about this. Oh my God. I heard it's going to turn into a huge operation soon. Many people getting huge wake up calls about this. So many people, that was way too many, way too many. Many people are getting huge wake up calls about the fact that your family member or family members or possible people connected to your family members, possibly. Um, Secret 7 or not, or basically, basically we're planning on kidnapping, having you and your children for some kidnapped. So you could be sold as a slave. Um, that is so, I mean, that, okay. That isn't right in the head, you guys. It's not right in the head. It's truly not correct in the head. It's really, it's not. And I'm not trying to down talk anybody in the universe. I'm really not. But that way of thinking is not correct. Planning hitting and planting hidden cameras in people's homes is mentally not correct. Planning on selling family members or people not your family members is not mentally correct. Human trafficking is not ment mentally correct. Sex trafficking is not mentally correct. None of those evil, nasty things are me not, men they're not mentally correct because you are um, infringing upon um, people's rights and liberties. That's why. And I'm serious about that. And you're not letting people live the way they um, should be able to live, happy and free and pursue uh, life, liberty, love, and the pursuit of happiness. And I'm serious about that. Okay. We have thoughts, message, and family room. 16, 7, or 21 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 16, 7, or 21. Those could be possible ages of viewers, somebody you're connected to. It could be um, a lot of possible lottery number, possible jersey number, possible um, reoccurring numbers you're seeing out in the universe on billboards or advertisements. 16, 7, or 21. Thoughts, message, and family room. Thoughts. Someone in your family is giving heavy, 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 heavy contemplative energy whether to reach out to you or not. They want to know what you know, but do not tell them if they reach out. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Or someone in your family is giving heavy, heavy thought. Basically, um, they want to know what you know, basically. Um, for a lot of you guys, you forwarded the hidden camera energy. We have forwarded that crap on here. I've been on this channel for over a year, about a year and a half now. I, we've helped combat that crap on here. I know a lot of you guys have taken action in your house. You've disabled. You've plucked the hidden cameras out. You've done every, I mean, you, we have taken great, great action, not only in your home, in your vehicles, and in other places. Heater vents, AC vents, um, smoke detectors, furniture, um, everywhere. I know, I know, because you guys have sent me messages. And I'm proud of you guys. Um, I'm proud of disabling. I'm proud of the plucking. I'm proud of everything, because that's what we should be doing as a collective. But I heard someone in your family basically wants to reach out to you, but they have ulterior motives in a way because they want to basically know everything you know. But I heard spirit message in that is basically do not tell them what you know. Do not tell them what you know. So they're over there in Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air sign energy, wondering what the crap you know, because I feel you have taken action in your home um, and thwarted these evil people. Um, and they want to know what you know, but I heard from spirit, don't tell them, don't tell them. So, you know, of course, you have free will to converse with them if you want to, but, um, and you can tell them if you want to tell them, but it doesn't sound like it'd be very smart because they're, they, it sounds like they only want to reach out to you to proper information when they really should be calling the police. These people should be calling the police and turning in their evil family members is what they should be doing. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Message. This person has has sent since has text 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 emailed 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 and then deleted. 
okay? So you're pulling in a family member strong that wants to contact you, but they want to contact you to provide for information. But I heard they have basically text, uh, text, text, and email to email. So they know your email or they know your text number or they know both. However, that plugs in. But they have deleted it. So they have sent over, they have sent, you know, put in what they wanted to put in, probably looked over and looked over and looked over, and then they deleted it. And they never sent it to you. So message, they really, really heavily think about sending you a message. I feel for some of you guys, that's the um, starting the text, starting the text, reading the text, reading the text, reading the text, deleting it. Starting the email, starting the email, completing the email, reading the email, reading the email, reading the email, and then deleting it. That's exactly what I, the energy I'm feeling for some of you guys. You are going to get communication soon from someone not in your family that's going to help with this situation in a huge way soon. This person is truly going to help you know this. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. Well, that's a good one. So if this resonates with you, you're going to get communication, a me so message card, communication card basically from someone outside of your family. So you've got a family member really deep wanting to message you basically wanting to pry you from information one instance for another another there's gonna be somebody else i heard outside your family that's about to communicate with you soon um and they're going to help you they're going to help you in some shape form or fashion um but they're not inside your family they're outside your family i heard they truly do care and they truly are going to help so some kind of communication, i.e. the message energy. Now, that could be phone call for some, for some. It could be phone call. It could be text. It could be messenger. It could be snail mail. But some kind of communication, somebody outside your family. So outside your family is going to send you that truly does care about the situation, about your family member or members or people outside your family member uh, or people outside your family connected to your family members. They know whoever this is, is outside your family, they know about the situation. They definitely know. Okay, I heard they definitely know. So they definitely know. So they know. They know. They know about the situation. I'm assuming they're going to tell you they know about the situation. Um, I'm assuming. I'm assuming they will. Um, that way they can properly introduce themselves and tell them why they're communicating with you and blah, 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 blah. So I'm sure they probably will tell you because I heard they really do care. So I'm assuming they will identify themselves that they're might be governmental entity agency energy possibly i didn't hear that but that's my deductive reasoning and logic on this they probably are they probably are so they probably will identify themselves properly badge number badge id um hopefully you will ask for identification if they presume they are with governmental entity agency energy um unless you've known them previously and you already know who they are you know but um they, um, I heard they really do care. They really do care. They know about this situation. They know about your family member or family members or people outside your family members. Planned basically was trying to uh, have you and your children for some kidnap and freaking traffic, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. But so two communications here. One, it might not happen because you have a family member basically trying to pry for information. That might happen for some, it might not. But if it does happen, I heard from spirit, do not basically let them know what you know. Do not let them know what you know. You can communicate with them, but be very smart in your communication. It is someone that has not communicated with you in a long time, the family member. Okay, I heard it is someone that has not communicated with you in a long time, the family member. So situation one, the, uh, the family member that they have not communicated with you in a long time. So if this helps somebody. This is with situation one. I heard they basically have not communicated with you in a long time, but the only reason they're basically going to try to reach out is to provide for your information. Um, be smart on that. Be smart, be smart. For some, I feel they will actually send it. For some, I feel they won't. Um, but be smart if they do. Um, you can take it or leave it. Everybody has, everybody has free will. Fa family room?
when arrests are made with this family member and family members for some, police and authorities are going to find way more than they thought they were going to. These people are about to be in some serious, serious, serious trouble. Serious. Search warrant will be had. And it will be very, very, very useful in this situation for sure. Because they are going to find so much more. So much more. Oh my God. Oh my God. Woo. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. Okay. So for some, your family member is, for some, your family member or family members are about to get a search warrant put out on their um, butt, basically. They're about to have a search warrant put out. But I heard the search warrant basically is going to end up being very, it's, it's going to be invaluable. Invaluable. Oh my God. I heard it's going to be invaluable. And, and that was double confirmation from spirit. Invaluable times two, I heard. It's going to be invaluable. So it's going to be like gold. This search warrant is going to be like gold. Because I heard they're going to find so much more than they even thought they were going to find. But they'll have the search warrant and they'll be able to, to find it with the search warrant. Now, when you, you know, go into people's homes and search in, un, like, if police or authorities or investigators or what have you come in your home. And they're searching without consent or authorization and they have no search warrant that's illegal but if they have a search warrant it is not illegal because there's some kind of probable cause that makes them have the search warrant um is what i have understood from search warrants of course i don't work in the legal sector or the law community but from what i have uh, read up on it and understood from my studies throughout the years that is what i take from that um, but I heard this from Spirit, the search warrant is going to be invaluable. So they're going to find things they didn't even realize they were going to find, basically, with this search warrant. Um, whatever the crap it is, I don't know. But I don't know. Let's see if we're here. I don't know. Drugs, paraphernalia, and many other things. Specific communication on devices is going to be important as well. Oh my God. I heard drugs, paraphernalia, and other things and specific devices, uh, specific communication on devices will be important as well. So you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of drugs, paraphernalia. So paraphernalia is like drug paraphernalia drugs uh so uh, physical drugs physical drug paraphernalia is what i'm presuming because i heard drugs and paraphernalia um other things so some kind of other things it might be unlicensed firearms possibly it might be um it might be uh like uh i don't know uh hell i don't know i don't know it might be some creepy dungeon where they're keeping kids and sex trafficking them from their home. Hell, I don't know, but some kind of other things and it doesn't, it sounds very dark and it, it sounds like it's going to be very beneficial to authorities and police. I'll tell you that. So something very dark, whatever the crap it is, the other things and um, specific important communication on devices. So I don't know how search warrants work. I don't know. I don't know what all is entailed with search warrants and what all they can search with the search warrants, but some kind of specific communication on electronic devices is going to be important in this um, this bust as well. So I, maybe the search warrant covers the electronic devices, possibly. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe an uh, officer just sees something on a computer screen or a tablet or an iPad or whatever, and then that leads to something else. Um, I don't know. You plug it in, how it resonates, but some kind of communication on a um, electronic device. And I heard that was going to lead to other series of chain events, basically. So something is creepy deepy going on with somebody's family. I mean, and obviously, if they wanted to human traffic you and for some of your children, obviously, yeah, obviously. But I feel like something else is going on, too, that's going to, like, 
I heard it's going to be very public. Very public. Dear God Almighty. This is, this is going to be huge. Huge. Okay, I heard this is going to be huge, huge. So it's going, it's going to be huge. My Lord. For some, authorities are contacting out-of-country people for communication to get this done for some. Okay, I heard for some, some of these cases, uh, authorities are contacting out-of-country um, communication to get this done. So for some of you guys, uh, your family member might live out of country possibly for some. Um, or yeah, that's what I feel. I feel for some of you guys, at least one of your family members lives out of country. Um, or somebody connected to this creepy DP um, family member lives out of country. However that resonates. However that resonates. But somebody, there's a reason authorities are contacting somebody out of country. Out of country is what I'm saying. So um, you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. You keep doing what you need to do. These people drug you into a hot mess. And people are really figuring this out now. Okay, so you plug it in how that resonates. Holy moly. So I heard you basically keep doing what you need to do. So you keep growing, manifesting yourself, raising your, uh, you know, growing. Self-care in yourself, take care of your kids if you need to take care of, um, if you have children, some of you do, some of you don't. Um, because your family and possibly some, for some, some people outside your family has drug you into some current hot mess. So they drug you into this and you never wanted to be a part of it anyways. And who in the world wants to be human traffic? Nobody, nobody. So I can see where they drug you into it against your wheel because who wants to be human traffic? And their children human traffic. I mean, Nobody. I mean, I mean, I know there are unstable, like, um, there are unstable parents out there that truly do not have the best interests of their children at heart. Like, um, what are they called? Um, unfit parents. Like, you know, uh, people that run the streets, um, uh, leave their kids at home for days at a time, sell their body out on the street um, for drugs or or what have you. I mean, they run the street, crack, ho crack whores or drug bandits or what have you. There are people like that. And they can care two craps less about their kids. But whoever this is for, I don't feel this that this is your energy at all. I don't feel this is you. I feel you unwillingly got drugged into some hot mess express and they thought they were going to make mega bucks off you, but it has backfired, basically. That's the energy I'm feeling here. Um... That's what I'm feeling. I don't feel you run the streets. I don't feel you, um, I feel you're a good member of society. Uh, you keep to yourself and you don't cause harm to others. I don't care if you make $5. I don't care if you have $5 in your bank account or $5 million. Um, whoever this is for, and I'm serious. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, you guys. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Um, if you think any well, anyone else could benefit from the uh, reading or the messages, um, feel free to share my videos. I, it's greatly appreciated. Love you guys so much. Namaste.